All right, so we're good to go. I'll just talk. Uh, can you tell me, and so for every, every question I ask, can you put the question at the beginning of the answer? So if I ask you, what's your name? You say, my name is Sonny. Or, and so if I ask you, how did you find out about the program? You would say, I found out about the program. Da, 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 da. Gotcha. Okay, so what's your name and where are you from? My name's Sonny Lynn. I go by Sonny, but my real name's Harrison, and I'm from Bozeman, Montana. Great. And how did you come here? How did you come to the Gallant Chance Ranch? Well, um, we originally got in contact through uh, probation office while I was on probation during the summertime. And can you give a little bit of the backstory? Like, how did you? Yeah, just like who you who you were before here and. Well, honestly, I was kind of a little bit of a hoodlum, and uh, I got put on probation for shooting a BB gun out of a window. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, honestly, it was crappy to get in trouble, but it was one of the better things that I've done, because in turn, I got hooked up with Gallant Chance Ranch, and uh, they did a whole lot of stuff for me this summer. So what was the experience of coming here, like, the first day? What... <laughs> what was that like? The first day, I was kind of, uh, it was really quiet. Everybody was, wasn't talking a whole lot. It was kind of weird because it was a bunch of kids that got in trouble with the law, you know, coming to hang out with horses on a ranch. So it was a, it was a little weird. And uh, um, we, we came out there and uh, we uh, started working with the horses and... Uh, Gradually, stuff became a little bit easier. Like we could talk to John and Karen, and you know, we started working with the horses and started to kind of get to know everybody, and got a little less weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, had you ever worked with horses before? No, it was the first time. I mean, I rode one when I was five years old, maybe, but never worked with them before. Uh, can you say I never worked with horses before? No, I've never worked with horses before. And what was that like? What was that experience? It was kind of scary, to be honest with you. I mean, they're huge, but you kind of learn that when you respect them, they start to have respect for you, and it works out pretty well. And what did you do? What was the program like? Can you describe the program? And, like, what was it? What was the... Was it the same every day? Or did you have routines? Basically, it was, we would work, um, we would go out to a ranch and we would do a little bit of work for the people's ranch that we were on, and uh, usually that would be like the morning until noon, and then in the afternoon we would get to ride and uh, groom the horses a little bit and just get to have a little bit of fun with the horses. And um, typically it would be like that, some days we would do some other stuff, we uh, took a few trips out to um, the Yellowstone Club, and we set up a uh, rodeo arena. Hmm. That was pretty fun to see how that works, and we got to watch the rodeo afterwards, and I'd never been to a rodeo before, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so did you, like, what's, what's your relationship like with horses now? Or like, how did that evolve? How did your relationship with horses evolve? Um, at the beginning, I was a little afraid. Um, but you start to get a little bit more comfortable around them the longer you're around them. And I love horses now. They're awesome to be around. They kind of make you find yourself a little bit. How? I mean, you just, you're not like out there talking with another person. You're just bonding with a different animal. And so you're learning kind of its ways and stuff like that. Oh, uh, what would you say? Like, what did you like, learn about yourself over the over the course of the the program or just with the horses? Um, I learned that there's a lot about myself that I didn't know and that uh, I can definitely push myself to try some new stuff and uh, it actually ends up being a great experience most of the time. Mm. So would you say, like, so what's, can you paint a picture of yourself before and after the program? Like what's, what's the, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm still the same person, but I was getting into a, a lot of trouble before I was in the program. And uh, they showed me a side of 
Montana that I've never really seen before and uh, got me involved in some stuff that's not a bunch of trouble, you know. And I, I mean, I can come out here and bond with some horses and go out riding and not have to get involved in a bunch of stuff with the law. And uh, ever since I've joined GCR, I've been a lot happier with myself and, you know, just overall happy with the experience. I learned a lot. Mm. What, what do you think? The, uh, what do you think about GCR made you or kind of ch changed things for you? Was it simply stepping into a new environment or what? What what did you, how did that process happen within you? I think initially it was kind of uncomfortable, but when, I mean, that's with anything when you're stepping into a new environment. But when you learn to get used to it, um, you start to really enjoy it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so so what, I mean, what is the difference now that you're through the program, though, like, do you, because now you're not getting in trouble with the law, like what's, what's different for you now? I know for sure that GCR helped me out with a great work ethic because we were always doing work to ride programs. And uh, they hooked me up with a job in the summer through construction and kind of got me going in terms of other stuff past just GCR. And, uh, you know, they kind of taught me to... Uh, have respect for yourself and respect for others and uh and it always comes back around and so kind of i'm gonna go a little bit philosophical a little bit or just talk, just thinking about kind of in general like what what makes you know, teenagers or like what leads younger younger men younger people to to just act out or to get in trouble with the law like for you can you talk specifically about your experience like what why did you just run wild or what? I think I think for me it was just a big part that in Bozeman there's not a whole lot to do around here you know and you kind of get stuck in your own little like high school mind of like you just want to like go out and party and stuff you know what I mean when really there's tons of other stuff around that you can do but I don't know, I think, like, just when, like, you're young and stuff, you kind of want to go and, like, have fun, just because there's not a lot of repercussions, but, I mean, I think a lot of kids just take it a little bit too far and start kind of getting comfortable in, like, breaking the law and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's see. So... Did you learn? Okay, take a few a step this way. What did you learn? Uh, did you, I think you, you learned like specific skills here, right? Like what? What are some of the specific skills you learned with GCR? Um, we did a lot of uh, fence building in the beginning. I learned how to build a couple different cut, kinds of fences. Um, I learned a lot of horse grooming and stuff that has to do with horses and. Uh, we did a lot of random work stuff involving like ranches. We uh, repaired a water line, an underground water line, and um, huh. I don't know. I <laughs> think we did um, a lot of setting up of rodeo arenas. So I got to figure out how all that stuff works. Mm -hmm. I'm so where, so now, kind of lo looking back over the experience, what what are what were your some of your favorite parts of the program? My favorite parts were definitely uh, getting to ride the horses and getting to know everybody in Gallant Chance Ranch, some of the kids, John and Karen, and uh, really just getting to know like an aspect of my life that was all around me, but I never really got into before. And so would you, I mean, would you say that's, is that one of the biggest parts of kind of the shift that being here creates? Like being here that takes you out of the, envi the environment where you're just... Oh yeah, it completely takes you out of the environment. I mean, throw on some cowboy boots and a hat and... 
go hang out with a different group of people and just completely disconnect from normal life. Is do you think that's part of the like the, one of the biggest parts of the change, or where's where's the change come from? I definitely think that's a huge part of it is disconnecting from what you're used to and uh, kind of going out onto newer things. Hmm. And would you? If if there are other people considering, if there are other kids, kind of kids who are you know fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, who are considering this, or like what would you tell them about the program? Like would you, yeah? Well, initially, I mean, I don't think anybody when you're explained to in your probation officer's uh, office the, about a program where you can work and then get to ride horses. Initially, I wasn't too excited about it, but I did some thinking and um, just kind of decided that it was a good idea for me. And uh, I would definitely tell other kids that it's a great thing. Initially, it doesn't sound like the best, but I actually had a great time and it was one of the best summers I've had.